All right, Ron, thank you very much, and welcome everybody to the Alexander Memorial Coliseum. Another session of boxing underway here, and we're set for the start of a light middleweight bout. Preliminary bout it is. It's 156 kilograms, 71 kilos. Highly ranked fighter in this one. His name is Karim Tulaganov of Uzbekistan. He is third ranked in the world, and there he is. And he'll be facing Oscar Gomez of Argentina. Get ready for the fireworks in this one, Scott. These guys are going to go at it. Two big guys in there. And we've been privy to some good boxing so far. Earlier bout had two knockdowns, eight counts. Had anything you wanted in it. Good boxing. Let's just hope it continues in this 71K class. Ron mentioned 71 kilograms is the class in which Nicky Farrell will box later tonight for Canada, and uh, he's had the misfortune of drawing one of the top-ranked fighters in the world. Well, we spoke we spoke of that earlier. You know, we we reiterated. You know, the Canadians were definitely did not get favored in the in the luck of the draw. They've drawn all top-ranked fighters, and if they didn't draw a top-ranked fighter in their opening bout, they had to meet world-ranked, world champions, or world silver medalists all before the medals. So, uh, very tough draw for the Canadians, and Nicky Farrell's among them. Now, Farrell has drawn uh, Ibrahimov of Kazakhstan, so that'll be a test for him, but uh, Nicky Farrell has got the fastest hands in Canada, so we'll see if he can use his hand speed to a uh, good advantage against his opponent tonight. But this one is underway. It's Oscar Gomez of Argentina in the red against uh, Karim Tulaganov, third-ranked fighter in the world from Uzbekistan. Tulaganov is the bigger and stronger of the two. He's going to be the one looking for the power and try to chase... Gomez around the ring. Gomez is going to have to use his boxing ability and use that height and reach advantage. to a good advantage against his opponent tonight, but this one is underway. It's Oscar Gomez of Argentina in the red against uh, Karim Tulaganov, third-ranked fighter in the world from Uzbekistan. Tulaganov is the bigger and stronger of the two. He's going to be the one looking for the power and try to chase Gomez around the ring. Gomez is going to have to use his boxing ability and use that height and reach advantage that he's got, although not, albeit not a big one. That's what he's going to have to do and try to outbox uh, Tulaganov. Huge disparity in international experience here, Rush. You know if Tulaganov is third ranked in the world, but he's been fighting on the international stage for a long time. But uh, the first international competition for Gomez was the pre-Olympic tournament in Buenos Aires in 1996, the one that got him into the Olympics. So well, this is a big leap for him. But the one advantage that they have for the last couple of years, I'd say maybe the last four or five years, the Argentinian team has been coached by the former assistant head coach of the Cuban national team. So the Cuban, one of the Cuban coaches is now the head coach of Argentina. So they have de definitely dominated in, uh, in South America. Good combinations from... Gomez, Oscar Gomez throws a good flurry off the ropes as Talaganov had him pinned. Nothing came up on the scoreboard, though. You said before that you can't expect to have any inferior entries in these Olympics because of the qualification tournaments held all over the world, uh, but the 71 kilogram or light middleweight class particularly has some very, very strong entries. Most of the top-ranked fighters in the world are here. And, you know, most of the top-ranked fighters almost in every weight class are here. And these guys, they're in that, in this weight class, you know, when you start moving up from about 139 pounds up to about 165, you're seeing the creme de la creme. Some of the best fighters in the world, and when we say best fighters, I mean the best pound for pound, are in these weight classes. We talk of Ariel Hernandez or any of the Cubans for that matter. And so far, the Cubans undefeated in this Olympic Games boxing tournament. It was a great Cuban-American matchup here earlier today. Certainly great as far as the uh, Cubans were concerned because uh, Maruco Romero defeated Eric Morel handily so. Now, Scott, with all the boxing we've been watching over the last couple of days, when was the last one you remember that was 43 seconds from the end and the score was only one nothing for a fighter? And this is surprising given, uh, given Tolaganov's world ranking and the relative lack of international experience of Gomez. Gomez is handling this perfect, and you know what he's doing? He's making Talaganov come to him. He's making him come, and he's counter-punching. He's letting Talaganov do the leading, and I don't think Talaganov likes to be in that position, and Gomez is just popping the shots over top. There it is again, and he's throwing the flurries. He's standing right in there with the bigger guy. Oh, good stiff jab. There's a 
is a hard shot from uh, Tulaganov that results in Gomez taking a standing eight count and closing seconds of round number one. And that was a jab. That's probably the first eight count we've seen as a result of the jab, and Tulaganov is inspired. Yes, he woke up in the last few seconds of the first round, took the fight to Oscar Gomez, but uh, might think that uh, Gomez was saved by the bell. Well, I don't know if he's saved by the bell, but this definitely has set the tempo and has inspired Tulaganov for the second round. That's what he was looking for was the power shot. There it was, a left hand, half hook, half jab. Came right back with the right hand after he knew he had him hurt, but the referee was already moving in for the eight count. Moves in, there it is. Oh, it looked like it was coming out as a jab, and then he turned it over into a left hook. Nice move from Tulaganov. And that's what he's looking for, for the power. Not sure what they're saying in the corner of Oscar Gomez. Probably something like, hey, this guy can fight. Now you know you're in about. You know, this is the closest we've heard to picking it up, and I would have liked to be able to pick up what he was saying in my minimal high school Spanish. But they're definitely telling him to box. I mean, his, his battle plan was evident as they came out. Don't mess with Talaganov. He's the big puncher. Don't mess with him. And Talaganov wanted him to come forward and try to mess with him, and try to slug it out with him, because that's what he wanted to do. But Gomez doesn't want to do this. He wants to box and counter punch, and he was quite successful with about 10 seconds left to go in the first round. See where Talaganov uh, picks up. Will he pick up where he left off late in the first round? This is the second round, then, of this preliminary light middleweight bout. It's Oscar Gomez of Argentina in the red. And Karim Tulaganov of Uzbekistan. Tulaganov coming out far more aggressive, Scott, in this round. He's coming forward faster. He's putting more punches together, getting into range to punch. You just got to wonder if Gomez has the firepower to be able to hold him off. If Tulaganov starts to walk through those shots of uh, Oscar Gomez, he could be in trouble. Tulaganov looking like he's content to take a couple of jabs to get in a few power shots of his own. There again he tries the power and that was behind the head. No caution from the referee on that. Again the left hook. He's going back with the shot that was successful for him at the end of the first round. There it is! Oh, that stuns him. That staggered the Argentinian. Oscar Gomez will take a second standing eight count. Remember as we told you before. Standing eight counts in effect in amateur boxing. Three in one round stop the fight. Four over the course of the fight will stop it. Casey Patton had his fight stopped yesterday on three standing eights in the second round. Oh, the left hook dug downstairs. A good hard shot. Again, the left hook downstairs. Tulaganov now really turning it on and letting go bombs. Gomez is feeling the full power of these shots from Karim Tulaganov. Now we're getting an indication of just how powerful Tulaganov is. Again, that's Karim Tulaganov, third-ranked fighter in the world, in the blue. Oscar Gomez of Argentina in the red. Gomez was hurt by then by those shots. He's moving now. He's moving quicker. He's, he's trying not to move away. Yeah, yeah. You can see how the complexion of this fight has changed now that he's felt the power of the punches from Karim Tulaganov. Walks the way Tulaganov cuts the ring off. Dude. Um, Gomez wants to move, but Tulaganov has, keeps holding him up against the ropes by stepping over to the right. But instead of throwing the right hand, he's throwing the left hook. Now, Gomez had lots of confidence to start this fight, and uh, he tried to track down Tulaganov in the first round. It's changed completely now, now that he knows that uh, Tulaganov is a power puncher. Now he's looking for that left hook. When you look for a shot, Scott, often it doesn't present itself. You know, you've got to get the opponent thinking about something else. Maybe put, that's why he started throwing the shot down underneath to try to get the one up top working more successfully because uh, Gomez is definitely looking for that left hook now and Talaganov is hardly using the right hand. You don't want to go in there as a one-handed fighter, even if it's your best punch. You get the guy looking for the right hand. Next thing you know, he's looking for the right hand. You can land the left hook. Well, turn around in the second round of this fight then as uh, Karim Tulaganov takes complete control of the fight, leading Oscar Gomez of Argentina handily. Let's look at the shot. You'll see the left hook, the devastating power of Tulaganov. There it is. Gomez took everything not to go down from that shot. That was right on the button. Now you see again, it looked like it was coming out as a jab, but just when you're coming down the block and he turns his shoulder over and lands it as a left hook. A beautiful shot from Tulaganov. Did you like Tulaganov's reaction after he delivered the shot, put his hands down and said, yep, yep, yep that's the <laughs> <left."> 
Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. He had thrown about four or five of them before that. They didn't connect. And he said, one more. And he lined it up and it landed. Well, I also want to make mention of something that I think I may have mentioned earlier. If not, uh, it's worth mentioning again in any case. Uh, Matt Mazursky, the technical director of the Canadian Amateur Boxing Association, has provided us with much of the information that we've been able to share with uh, our audience about uh, the boxers in this tournament. Matt's got a very extensive computer file system on all the amateur boxers in the world, and we're happy that he can share it with us. Third round of this light middleweight preliminary bout underway, Karim Tulaganov of Uzbekistan against Oscar Gomez of Argentina. That's Tulaganov in the blue, Gomez in the red, and I would think Tulaganov is looking for the takeout shot. Yeah, and, and well, it, not as only is he looking for it, but that is what was successful for him. When he took his time in the first round, he let Gomez dictate, and Gomez was boxing him and counter-punching and looking really good. As soon as Tulaganov started to put the heat on and turn this into a little bit of rumble, there was the right hand that landed. As soon as he started to turn it into a punch out, he's taken over. Good stiff, hard jab. Boy, those lefts have punished Gomez since the start of the second round. Look at the look at the upper body size difference between the two of these guys. It's hard to believe they both weigh 71k. 156 pounds, and this guy punches like a light heavy. Yeah, he is looking for the takeout. Eh? Every shot has KO written on it. Look at the strength. Even when he gets his hands up and, and blocks the blows of, of Oscar Gomez, his arms don't even move. Good right and quick reaction over the top of the jab of Oscar Gomez from Tulaganov. The left hook again lands. Gomez's biography uh, states that he has a very simple goal. He wants to be Olympic and world champion. He's not going to be Olympic champion this year. He's had the misfortune to come up against Karim Tulaganov in his first fight. Third standing eight count now for Oscar Gomez. So one more and this fight's going to be over. And that one wasn't with the left hook either. He was lining up the uppercut because he noticed that Gomez was keeping his hands up and tucking under the left hook. So he said, all right, no problem. Boom! Hit him with the uppercut right underneath. The power of Tulaganov's punch is just all too much for Oscar Gomez. Yeah, but he hasn't quit. No, he hasn't quit. And that's the one thing uh, that you have to say is that Gomez just doesn't have the firepower to hold him up. Watch, even when he lands a blow, Tulaganov just walks right through it and is still punching. That's discouraging. You hit your guy, you hit, you hit your opponent with your Sunday best, and he walks through it and he's still punching. That's a discouraging thing in a boxing ring. 32 fighters in this class. After the uh, preliminary bouts are over, 16 are out. And here's the standard procedure with a minute left to go when you're nursing a big lead. Is use the perimeter of the ring. Let your opponent come to you. And look at Tulaganov, supreme confidence now. Hands uh, down around his waist. He's Has he almost clowning with uh, Oscar Gomez. Has he picked up the tempo, you know, in, in this fight? Has he controlled? Here again, the crowd booing. They don't understand. They don't know what's going on. Look at the beautiful shot. He's out. He's out, that'll, that'll be it. That's the fourth standing eight count. That just goes to show you that 7,000 people in here didn't know what's going on. Tulaganov sure as heck knew what was going on. backing up, hands down around his waist, and suddenly the shot that ended the fight with the fourth standing eight, Oscar Gomez is disconsolate. And it was the right hand that did it, not the left hook. It was the right hand. And I think that punch to the canvas is probably the hardest one Gomez threw tonight. He's disappointed. More frustrated, I would think, than anything else, Russ. He just could not contain the punches of Kareem Tulaganov. The power, unbelievable. How could they be booing this guy? He boxed, he punched, and then when he had the lead, he's moving around a little bit, slipping the shots like a true professional, turns over a slip on the jab and comes over with a stunning right hand, which was the finisher. What a performance. So Kareem Tulaganov of Uzbekistan is going to go on to the round of 16, oh. and uh, I'm sure we'll see him fight past that. Did you see that uppercut right underneath? Here it comes, underneath with the left hook. Right at the opening door, that uppercut just came right through. Backs up, moving, look at him, slip, slip, nothing lands, slip, nothing lands. Hands down at his waist, and not a shot landed. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is from the blue corner. Et à messieurs, le gagnant dans le point bleu from Afghanistan, de l'Ouzbekistan, Tulaganov. Karim Tulaganov confirmed as the winner of the 71 kilogram bout.
two minutes. Let's watch out for this guy, Scott. 12-2 to count uh, when the fight was stopped, but it was stopped on standing eight counts, and so it'll go into the books as referee stops contest. Look for this guy on the metal podium. So Tawaganov goes on, and we'll return with more in a moment. Alexander Memorial Coliseum hoping for the same effect in boxing. David Reed.